Perinaut syndrome. Perinaut syndrome is a group of abnormalities of eye movement and pupil dysfunction caused by lesion of dorsal midbrain. Note, Perinaut syndrome is not to be confused with Perinaut's oculoglandular syndrome. It, Perinaut's oculoglandular syndrome is a combination of granulomatous conjunctivitis in one eye and swollen lymph nodes in front of the ear on the same side caused by cat scratch disease which is caused by bacteria Bartonella hensile. Perinaut syndrome is also called dorsal midbrain syndrome or pretectal syndrome. Etiology of Perinaut syndrome is number one which is most important is penialoma which is nothing but tumor of pineal gland. It is most common cause. It is a childhood primary brain tumor. Other causes of Perinaut syndrome are stroke, trauma, demyelination, hydrocephalus which mostly occurs in adults and elderly. Pathophysiology of Perinaut syndrome is tumor of pineal gland enlarges and compresses the tectum of midbrain, hence damages the pretectal nuclei, superior colliculus and interstitial nucleus of cudgel, rostral interstitial nucleus of medial longitudinal fasciculus. What is vertical gaze center? Vertical gaze center is rostral interstitial nucleus of medial longitudinal fasciculus plus interstitial nucleus of cudgel. This is dorsal part of midbrain and this is ventral part of the midbrain. Clinical features of Perinaut syndrome. Number one is supranuclear vertical gaze paralysis. The eye can look normal in the horizontal direction, hence normal horizontal gaze. The eye can look normal downward in downward direction, hence downward gaze is normal. The eye can the eye cannot look upwards as upward upward eye movement is restricted. It is called selective upgaze palsy. Selective upgaze palsy is due to damage to vertical gaze center in midbrain. Clinical feature number two, pupillary light near dissociation. What is pupillary light near dissociation? This light means light reflex is absent. And near means accommodation reflex is present. Why is light reflex absent and accommodation reflex is present? Because, because pupillary light reflex pathway involves pretectal area, whereas accommodation reflex do not do not involve pretectal area. What is pupillary light reflex? Torch light is shown in left eye. So what happens? Left eye pupil constricts, that is called direct light reflex. Right eye pupil also constricts, that is called consensual light reflex. Pupillary light reflex pathway. Pupillary light reflex pathway. Torch light is shown in the left eye. From it, it goes to optic nerve, that is cranial nerve number 2. From there, it goes to the pretectal nuclei in midbrain. Here, it activates bilateral Edinger westphal nucleus, hence the reason for pupil constriction of both eye, direct and consensual. From here, it goes to cranial nerve number 3, oculomotor nerve. From there, it goes to the ciliary ganglion. From there, it goes to the short ciliary nerve. And from there it goes to sphincter pupillae muscles and hence constricts pupils. Accommodation reflex. What is accommodation reflex? 
focusing on a near object causes pupil to constrict. Here is your left eye, here is your right eye. Object is far, so pupil will not constrict. But when the object is brought near to the eye, left eye pupil constricts and right eye pupil also constricts. Accommodation reflex pathway. Object near the eye, from there it goes to the retina, optic nerve, optic chiasma, optic tract, lateral geniculate nucleus in the thalamus, optic radiation, primary visual cortex in the occipital lobe, visual association cortex, Edinger Westphal nucleus in the midbrain, oculomotor nerve, carries preganglionic fibers to the ciliary ganglion. From ciliary ganglion, short ciliary nerves goes to the ciliaris muscle and sphincter pupillary muscle in the iris. Sphincter pupillary muscles causes pupillary constriction, whereas ciliaris muscles makes the lens spherical to accom for accommodation. Clinical feature number three is convergence retraction nystagmus. What is convergence? Convergence is the simultaneous inward or medial movement of both eyes towards each other. You can see here it, the eyes are getting converged. They are getting to the middle side. What is retraction? Retraction is eyeball is displaced deeper within the orbit from its normal position. What is nystagmus? Nystagmus is an involuntary eye movement. So here it is very important. In Perinaut syndrome, Convergence retraction nystagmus is seen with an attempt to look upwards. Only when you try to look upwards, you can see convergence retraction nystagmus. Clinical feature number four is collier sign. Collier sign is bilateral eyelid retraction due to overactivity of levator palpebrae superioris. Penialoma or other causes of Perinaut syndrome damages the inhibitory neurons to levator palpebrae superioris, hence overactivity of levator palpebrae superioris occurs. You can see here light eyelids are retracted. That's it. Thank you.